Hello, hello, hello. Time yes to roll. Welcome, 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 babies. If you're new here, welcome back. If you are returning, come on in. Get your shit, get your shit, get your shit. And get comfortable. Because we about to make a do with the do loves, okay? The plants will fly. The smoke detector will beep. I sing. I curse. If any of that is a problem, now would be the time to click off. If not, come on in. Like, share, comment. Hit that all bell. And enjoy yourself. Stay a while, okay? This is a Divine Connection channel. So Twin Flame, Twin Ray, you know, Divine Partner, High Level Soulmates. That type of energy here. If you're interested in individual zodiac signs um or just overall collective reads go check out my purple priestess channel um if you're pisces have pisces anywhere in your placement dealing with the pisces just like the way i read um go ahead and check out my pisces channel everything pisces that is down below as well uh info for personals tips donations all that is down below as well thank you thank you thank you for those who have booked bought left left tips or donations it is all great and appreciated, and I send love, light, and I send it all back towards you guys, okay? So we're going to jump into this read, see what spirit has today for you guys when it comes to your divine connection. What do you need to know when it comes to your divine connections? This is for the collective divine connections. Okay, that was it. Name of the mother, the father, the son, and the Holy Spirit. This is the Streets Are Talking Oracle Deck. By um, Tarot T. Diva. You can get her cards on Etsy. Okay, Spirit. I do need to jump for my Divine Connections. Divine Connections. Thank you. Huh, forgiveness. This has been the thing today. Divine Masculine has wanted forgiveness, okay? So forgiveness is going on right now. Um, Divine Master said, I'll even tie your shoe, baby. I do feel like time is of an essence now with this clock. This divine master is in love with you. Okay? You may have some red tennis shoes, a cute little red dress. You may have a tattoo on your thigh here. But yeah, they're coming in for forgiveness. They've made some type of decision here. They want forgiveness for their choices and decisions. Okay, so they made some bad decisions when it came to their life, to how they treated you. Your divine fam, and they, they they they're coming in for forgiveness. Give me one more for this divine connection here. Yeah, there could have been some type of addictions. This person could have been fighting addictions. They made their choices and decisions based on their addictions. And now they want forgiveness. They could have been addicted to anything, sex, money, a lifestyle, because this person's popping bottles and shit. Okay? So they could have, and they could have followed somebody and made their choices based on that. And now they feel bad about the choices and decisions they made. They want to come in and ask you for forgiveness. Give me one more here. Thank you. Yeah, whoever this is, they were in a narcissistic, they were in a narcissistic energy. They could have been an actual narcissist or they just had some tendencies, okay? And they want forgiveness for how they were acting. They know they were being narcissistic towards you. Give me one more for divine connections. Yeah, see, this person was into the party in life. They they chose to follow whoever this was is out there partying, celebrating. Um, they could have just wanted to still live life, you know, maybe not settle down, not be a couple. They wanted to still run the streets. They still wanted to, you know, like I said, pop bottles, chase after these sexual addictions, whatever these addictions may have been. They were just worried about themselves and, and having fun in their life. Yeah, they could have like been third-party situations. They could have been addicted, to, like I said, to um, putting you in third-party situations. They could have been addicted to sex. Maybe you guys were not an official couple. They didn't want to settle down because they didn't want to release their addictions. They wanted to keep partying. Can I find this addiction when it comes to this divine connection? That's too many. Yeah, so uh, somebody's addictions um, could have caused them to need some type of protection. Okay. Um, for a lot of you guys, I feel like you were protected from this person. Spirit stepped in and protected you from this person who was out here still living in this, living this addictive um, partying lifestyle, narcissistic energy. 
Yeah, now they're stalking you. So you walked away. So I feel like spirit stepped in, babies. That's where this protection came in and removed you from this connection. Now they want to return. They want forgiveness. They're stalking. Yeah, somebody could even be throwing shade, talking shit about you. This could have led this person to the choices and decisions that they made. Let's see. Let's clarify this divine connection here, spirit. What's going on with this divine connection? Somebody may want to come in with a sincere conversation. And this person could have been stuck between you and somebody else. I'm stuck between the two. Yeah, they made the wrong decision. They chose the person they thought they were going to party with, um, be able to have these addictions with, you know, fulfill their addictions and shit. And um, shit, they could have ended up needing protection from that person. What's this forgiveness for? What do they need forgiveness for? What do they need forgiveness for? <coughs> Excuse me, somebody don't want me to talk. For treating you like shit when you was nurturing, loving, and caring to this person. This is why they want forgiveness. Because you were nurturing, loving, and caring to their asses and they treated you like shit. With this narcissist, narcissistic energy. What's the decisions here, spirit? What's the decisions? Yeah, see... Maybe this person was codependent. Okay, maybe if they walked away from whoever they were dealing with, they would have ended up homeless, broke. Psychological issues here. Or maybe, huh, maybe who they chose was codependent. They thought they were getting something else and ended up with somebody codependent that was homeless and broke and had psychological issues. They made the wrong choice. Their choice could have left them homeless, codependent, and broke. Now they're dealing with emotional issues here because of their choices and decisions. What's this addiction to your spirit? Could have been dealing with a Scorpio, but I feel like that's an ending, a death, an ending, a resurrection here, ending to something. Yeah, there could have been a Scorpio that was doing magic. They could have been addicted to doing this magic. This Scorpio could have went broke trying to do this magic. This Scorpio could have been a narcissist as well. Now they want forgiveness. It says the dime store magic will continue to fail every time. So there could have been somebody that was doing magic trying to end your connections. They didn't want to be homeless, codependent, but you were protected from this. There is somebody, oh my God. So there's somebody addicted to doing magic to end you, to end your connection. They want you to be homeless. They want you to be codependent here. They want to come back in and ask for your forgiveness. Give me one more for this decision. I'm going back with y'all, but I need one more for that decision. I knew from the first time I laid eyes on you. Yeah, see... It was a choice. Somebody had to make a choice between you and someone else. The karmic energy. And I feel like they chose the karmic. And they end up homeless, broke, codependent with the karmic. Karmic has been doing magic. They could be a Scorpio. Or they were just trying to put an end to you. But this, this magic is ending. Scorpio and this magic is ending. They were addicted to doing this shit. They could have been doing this shit for months. They've been doing this shit for months. Clarify narcissists. Yeah, somebody was after your money. They were a motherfucking asshole. So this could be a feminine energy. They could have been after your person's money. I feel like I'm reading for a divine masculine. They were addicted to doing magic on you, divine masculine. You could be a Scorpio. Or you could be dealing with a Scorpio that was doing magic against you. This person tried to leave you homeless, broke, codependent. You knew about whoever your, your divine partner was from Geeko. I feel like you want to get forgiveness because you found out that this Scorpio or whoever this other person is that you're in the connection with would just ask you for your money. And if they were an asshole, when you should have chose the nurturing, loving, and caring one, you chose the asshole. 
and the asshole left you homeless, broken, and codependent. But I do feel like there was some protection here. Clarify celebration. They just wanted to come in and party and shit, steal your money. Yeah, they were codependent. Yeah. They only wanted to get closer to you, Divine Master, because they were codependent. They were after your money. I feel like you know this now. This is why you want to come back towards this Divine Femme and apologize. You want forgiveness. Spirit says you were protected, though. You've been protected from the magic. That shit has come to an end. And the reason why this person was doing this shit is because they were an asshole and they were after your money. That's the only reason why they wanted to get clo closer to you. To use you here, Divine Masculine. Yeah. Spirit says it is safe for you to move forward in faith and love. Could be a Leo spirit says stand in your power. Okay. Get in your Leo energy. Get your courage and move forward. You are protected. Your connection is protected. You don't have to worry about this motherfucker threading this magic. The magic will fail every time. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Could be all in your emotions and your feelings here. Go express your emotions with this Pisces here. Express your feelings. Yeah, because this third party played you like a fiddle. It was all about just weed, sex, and money. They just wanted to party. They were codependent. You could supply the weed, the sex, and the money. Divine Masculine. New love has arrived or is on its way. But whoever this karmic energy was, they were just full of shit. Trash, just trash full of shit. Yeah, they were a bum bitch. So Spirit says, Divine Master, it's time for you to stand in your power. Move forward. Release the fear. Move forward in love. Look, it says, don't let the fear get in your way. Have faith. Follow your creative path. That's 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 your key here, Divine Master. Follow your creative path. Open your heart. Embrace love. And have the fucking sincere conversation. Be honest. It's been a long time coming, but it is here. Divine Fam, Spirit says, don't you touch that damn phone. You wait for this divine master to reach out to you. Yeah, they could have been dealing with this karmic soulmate since August. Could have been a broke bum as well. So it could be masculine or feminine energy because we got broke bitch and broke bum. So take it how it fits, okay? Yeah, whoever this karmic soulmate was, they did not love your person. It was all a lie. It was all for money. Yeah, they told your person yes that they loved them. But they were in this devilish, lustful, addictive way. They were a liar. Okay. So if this resonates with you, let me know. Yeah, maybe he's you're too naive. I feel like this divine feminine energy. Tired of being tired of tossing their sleep. Tired of wearing your heart around your sleeve. Maybe you're moving too fast. But I do feel like um, Divine Mountain is getting their shit together. The truth is coming out here when it comes to karmics. They are coming in for a sincere conversation. They want for forgiveness. They realize that they're in love with you. They want love here with you. They see you as the nurture, caring, loving one. They know they made the wrong decision here. Whoever they were dealing with, I feel like they could be codependent now. Okay? Your masculine could literally be codependent. This, this energy they were dealing with could have left their asses homeless, broke. I bet you they learned the lesson about listening to their intuition. Because their intuition told them. They knew from the first time they laid eyes on you, Divine Film, that it was you. But they still chose the, the karmic ass energy. Now they in fear because they realized that they got played like a fiddle. They, like I said, they could have been dealing with this person since August. Okay. So if it resonates with you. Let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. We have Leo, Scorpio, Pisces energy here. Um, we didn't pull no tarot. There's no other tarot. So we got Leo. August is um, Leo and Virgo, right? So we got Leo, Virgo, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay? So until next time, my loves, you keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with you. Love, light, and peace. Mwah! Bye, my TT, baby.